Hello there, people of the internet. I am Cursed Blake, and today we're going to be talking about Death Trash. But first, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps out, and it's free, so it's a win-win. In this video, I'm going to explain why this is my favorite game that I've played this year, and why I think you should play it as well. Death Trash is an early access, dark, post-apocalyptic RPG with real-time combat elements. As soon as I jumped into the game, Death Trash immediately reminded me of Fallout, which I played a lot when I was a teenager instead of studying. This game has a similar vibe, and obviously there's a heap of inspiration from the early Fallout games. The first thing that you notice about Death Trash is that it is littered with huge chunks of meat, meat monsters, and occasionally flesh krakens. This game has a very weird styling where living meat attacks you and mutates, and you can eat it. This all sounds super weird, but it kind of just works. I don't know how this works, but it just does. This game is playable in single player mode and a local co-op mode. I'm playing this on PC, so I don't really see this as a huge benefit, but if this ever comes to the Nintendo Switch, which it's meant to, this will be incredible, and I will buy this game again. I was pleasantly surprised by the combat in this game. I thought that it was going to be the classic RPG turn-based boring combat that the early Fallout games had, but it's not. It's refreshing. It's real-time combat, but still has that kind of edge of being quite difficult in early levels. I found myself dying repeatedly to stupid enemies that should have been easily defeatable. There are tons of different options when it comes to combat. You have blunt weapons, sharp weapons, rifles, you name it, you've got it. Even a rocket launcher. There are a ton of special abilities which are accessible by cybernetics or psychic powers, so it gives you a lot of options to dispatch your enemies. This game has a whole heap of options on the gameplay, which I haven't even messed around with yet. You can do a pacifist run, permadeath run, a vegan run, and all sorts of other weird and wonderful things. And I really like games that have these options, it just makes them have a huge replayability. The thing that originally drew me to this game was the pixel art style. There's something about the art style in this game. It's both bloody and beautiful. The character creation in this game is really interesting. And I always love games that give you the option to make your own character because it makes you feel like you're in the game. I love the dark humor in this game. I find it very refreshing to see a game that's so brutal, but at the same time, funny. I found myself loving all the dialogue and kind of smiling at some of the crazy characters that you meet along the way. There's a guy who's just randomly naked that you meet very early on in the game, and he's just naked for no reason, and then he runs away. I think that's a huge thing for me. I like games that have character, and this game definitely has character. I was instantly hooked by the story in this game. It's got a simple premise. You are kicked out of your utopian or dystopian society, I haven't really decided, uh, because you have some mystery illness and you have to go track down someone who can identify what it is. And then you encounter the outside world where flesh just grows randomly. This game's quirky stylings makes me very happy. I love the fact that you have a dedicated button to puke, even if that only comes in handy every so often. I love the character design in this game. Characters just seem to be unique. There are a lot of like filler NPCs who just kind of say the same thing, but at least they have more than one line that they say. But the individual characters you go talk to, the named characters are all quite interesting and I find their character design to be intriguing. So why is this my favorite game of 2021 so far? It comes down to three things. The combat is just a joy. I found myself actively going towards encounters just to have more fun with the combat system. The storyline is intriguing and bizarre, and I found myself not being able to look away and I just wanted to keep going and find out what was happening. And lastly, the aesthetic of the game really appeals to me. The pixel art style, coupled with amazingly designed locations, make it an absolute joy to look at. I think it's amazing, and I think you should play it for those exact reasons. So I'm going to give this game 4 out of 5, because I think that is the fairest review I can give to an early access game. This game is full of character. It's a gorgeous but gruesome experience, and I think you should experience it today. You can pick this game up on Steam, NGOG, or GOG. The links will be in the description. And if you've made it this far in the review, you're awesome, and I really appreciate you. And remember to leave a like and drop me a comment below, because I want to hear what you guys think of this game. Thank you so much for sticking around for the review, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for being awesome.